Hola, mis queridos estudiantes. Hello, my wonderful, wonderful, awesome students. How are you guys today? Today, this is part three of Lucas and his local beans. Esta es parte tres. La tercera parte. So if you have not had a chance to watch part one or part two, please stop the video right now and make sure that you watch those first. Si tú no has visto la primera parte o la segunda parte, Pon pausa este video y ve y mira los otros anteriores. Today we're going to be looking at more words and also looking at the next part of the story. Now, if you remember that we left off when Grandpa or Abuelo and Lucas went into uh, the area where uh, he used to play, he plays a lot, uh, and he started to hear some noises in uh, around the matas. And, uh, uh, and so I want to uh, see if today's reading will let us know what was that noise. La última vez que leímos, estuvimos escuchando como el abuelo o grandfather fueron allá a buscar y empezaron a escuchar unos ruidos de las, uh, diferent entre las plantas uh, o plants. O, uh, así que hoy, a ver, al estar leyendo, a ver si averiguamos qué fue ese ruido. Let's see if as we are reading, we figure out what is that noise for sure. But of course, as always, let us start off with the big idea, la idea central. What do you think it's the big idea? Just by uh, the last couple of pages that we read, what do you think the whole story is about? ¿Qué piensas que la historia, la idea? Na, acuérdate que estos... Que estos, estas columnas apoyan a, tu, a tus pensamientos, a tu idea central. Please remember that these columns, they support what you are thinking. So, if you are thinking that this book is about going to the beach with your uncles and spending some time at the candy store, there's no supporting details, there's none of them in the reading that we've done so far that would say, yeah, that's the big idea. Uh, but if you're saying that this is about a mystery and figuring out what that uh, noise is and it could be related to some beans, well, yeah, even the cover will let me know that there are beans and uh, they're, they're the ones probably making that noise. So you are in the right track. All right, let's look at some of our language of the discipline or vocabulario, <clears throat> nuestra, nuestro lenguaje de disciplina. And looks like, let's look at this word. Abajo. Can you guys repeat? Abajo. Yeah, break it down. Abajo. Now put it all together. Abajo. Very good. So that means down, down. So I have this picture here of this arrow pointing down. Abajo. And again, when you see these words and you go back to the recording, I want you guys to start using these words and practicing them in your everyday life. Maybe dad uh, is asking, How do you, has anyone seen the remote to the TV? You can maybe say, you know, it's, it's there uh, uh, underneath the table. So you can say, ahí está, abajo of the table. I mean, you can at least just say that word, abajo down. Tierra. Tierra. Let's break it down. Ti. E. Ra. Good. Very good. Tierra. So that simply means soil or dirt. It's another way, right? It's another uh, word that you can use as well to describe tierra. Now, of course, we are in the ranch. So you can probably imagine that they're looking at some soil that it's maybe very rocky because we are uh, next to montañas or mountains. That's what, that was one of our words from last week. Tierra. Soil. Good. Very good. Semillas. Semillas. Let's listen to the sound. Semillas. Semillas. Those are just the seeds. So you can just kind of put two and two together because, you know, Grandpa does uh, like to uh, work out in his farm. And, and I'm pretty sure if you make that connection that there's a lot of, you know, plants and vegetation growing in ranches. 
So semillas, it's talking about the seeds. <clears throat> Maybe next time you're eating a watermelon, you can say, Mom, please, can you take off the semillas for me? Semillas. Si. Si. Yeah, you probably used this one before. Si, which simply means yes, yes, you're agreeing. You, you are, you, that's exactly what you want. Si. You know, and maybe mom says, you know, are you hungry? You can practice by saying si. Yes, I am hungry. Cuento. Cuento. Let's break it down. Cuento. Cuento. Which is, you know, a story. Like the story that I am reading to you guys. Cuento. Maybe next time your teacher on the ABL, uh, you know, you might say, has anyone ever read uh, uh, or is anyone reading a story, a story you would like to share lately? And you can say, yes, I am reading El Cuento. And then whichever book that you are or whichever story that you have been reading, uh, you know, this week. Son. Say it. Son. Good. This is another easy one. Son, which means they are. It's a little interesting how in Spanish, sometimes the shortest words have the most meaning. And in this case, son, from the verb ser, to be. They are. So this is something when you are pointing to. Son. Son mis hijos. Son mis primos. Son. They are. And then the last one is a phrase. Que son. So we have the word from the previous one, son, which is they are. So que means, you know, what? So what are they? And I think some of you, you already put two and two together. And probably this is Lucas asking Abuelo, que son? Have you figured out what the noise is? Yeah, it's probably as Lucas and his grandfather are investigating. I'm pretty sure Abuelo already knows what the noise is. But for Lucas, it's something that he is discovering. Que son? All right, so let's read this third part of the book. And let's see where we can find those words. We know they're down at the bottom. We already know that. They're highlighted in yellow. But let's look at them in our reading. He pushed apart bushes and then pointed down. What's our Spanish word for down? Yes, abajo. Very good, abajo. Many semillas or seeds were jumping around. So that's what the noise was from, was uh, coming from. Many semillas were jumping around. Click, 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 snap, snap, snap. Hey, by the way, this is called anomanopeia. So you want to impress your teachers next time there's some sounds written down on paper, it's called anomanopía, or in español anomatopea, cuando hay sonidos que están escritos en, letra, en letras. Click, 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 snap, snap, snap. The soil, what's the Spanish word for soil? I know, that's a little hard one. Tierra, tierra, look alive. And I quickly step back. Now, give me some details. Look at the beans. Why is it that they are jumping? Are there magical beans? Is, is this a non, a, a fictional, I should say? Is this a fictional story? Is there going to be, come on, make that connection. Is, is, I mean, his name is Lucas. It's not Jack, right? Like in the story of Jack and the, and the magic beans, where that, you know, that plant grew all the way to the sky. But these are actually jumping and clicking and clacking and snapping and snapping. I wonder what makes that, you know, what makes the beans jump just like that? Me, me, me pregunto, ¿por qué es que los frijoles están brincando de esa manera? Estas semillitas que están aquí, dice aquí que la tierra se veía en vivo y él tuvo que retroceder porque algo lo asustó. Something scared him. I would be too. All right, so let's look at those words again. Abajo. Say it. Abajo, which means what? down down we're looking down he was looking down at the tierra or the soil and saw the semillas he saw them jumping up and down tierra say it again tierra 
Very good. Soil. So he was looking at the ground or the soil or the tierra and saw these beans, these semillas. Say it. Semillas. Very good. And they're jumping up and down. I mean, that would kind of shock you, wouldn't it? I mean, I, I can I can see, you know, just normal things, you know, jumping up and down like, you know, maybe an animal or a bug. But in this case, there are seeds that are jumping up and down. ¿Qué son? I asked uh, as I dropped to my knees. See, we were right. ¿Qué son? means what? What are they, right? ¿Qué son? What are they? Grandpa says, son brincadores or Mexican jumping beans. Son, remember down at the bottom? Down at the bottom here is they are. Remember that? Son. They are brincadores or Mexican jumping beans. That's what they are. Are they alive? I ask quite surprised. So look at the details. Look at his face. He's a little surprised and he's looking there, there down abajo uh, at the semillas. See sí. What was C? Sí? Yes, yes. Grandpa's agreeing. Abuelo. I'll tell you a cuento if you sit by my side. So now grandfather or abuelo is going to tell him a cuento. And remember what is a cuento? A story. Yes, very good. So C sí means yes, very good. Uh, yes, yes. Sí, sí. Buen trabajo. Cuento is a story. Very good. And in this case, yo te estoy contando cuento. I am telling you the story. Son is they are. Remember that. That's when you are pointing to something. But they are. And que son? Yeah. What, what are they? Right? Que son? In this case, he didn't know. So he investigated. And he found out that they are these Mexican jumping bees. Hmm. So I wonder what the story is going to be. What is Abuelo going to tell Lucas? ¿Qué es lo que Abuelo, Grandfather, le va a estar contando a Lucas acerca de estos frijoles? What is that tell, uh, that story, that cuento that Abuelo is going to tell Lucas? Oh, I can't wait. And I know you can't either. But until next time, for now, remember, replay these videos and keep practicing that Spanish. Remember, the more you practice, the better we get. Acuérdate de que re regreses a estos videos para verlos una y otra vez. No se te olvide, practica tu inglés también. Mientras ellos practican su español, tú puedes aprender tu y practicar tu inglés. Ok, boys and girls, till next time. Adiós. Hasta luego.